AI is affecting people right now. It has material effects on people's lives and their outcomes. It's not just about futuristic automation. It is about the degradation of workers' job quality today. We've been doing research on what algorithmic harm, algorithmic accountability looks like for the last 10 years. Data and Society is an independent, nonprofit research institute. We study the social, cultural, and political implications and impacts of data-centric technologies, automation, and artificial intelligence. And we take that evidence and we use it to shape policy debates, media debates, and to inform governance with a strong evidence base. The values at Interpin Data Society are a commitment to justice, to making sure People who are impacted by technology are the ones who get a say in how it's uh, used and affect their lives. So we're always trying to think about how systems actually are working together to produce a certain set of effects. So for instance, Amazon closed its Just Walk Out supermarkets. It turns out that the AI technology behind those was not working at all. For every thousand things people bought, 700 of those had to be manually checked by workers sitting in India. That's just a continuation of the same story of hidden labor, outsourced labor, that undergirds and supports the whole industry. Data and society is linking two things that we hadn't thought to link before. That data could be used to shape and govern the society, we seem to be heading towards without much thought. A part of this work is focused on what it means to live with uh, you know, data-driven technologies on an everyday basis. And then the other part of it is to basically uh, bring in those conversations to actually build a global research agenda. So we have been able to put together government officials in conversation with technologists and conversations with social scientists committed to not only thinking about questions of data critically, but actually bring that critique in spaces where people are willing to listen to it. It was exciting for me to just encounter other academics, encounter people from uh, the private sector, encounter artists and people doing various forms of advocacy and civil rights work all in one place. When we started Data Society, there was nothing like us. And over the last decade, all of these other amazing organizations have popped up doing complementary work. And in that process, it's made Data and Society's relevance and importance so much more visible. You know, the organization has shown that this didn't have to just be a conversation amongst rich white men. It could be a much more nuanced conversation about what our technology futures would look like. Because Data and Society is committed to rigorous, high quality analysis and research, it has become one of the important organizations that you want at the table. The issues that are at stake are very consistent. What we're really talking about is issues of power, issues of equity, and issues of justice. And what we are doing is needed more than ever.